guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is daninga koei thank you so much for joining me on this channel again um i hope you're having a wonderful season a wonderful christmas season and new year's season because we have gone through so much in 2020 we know very well that there was a pandemic that is still going on and hopefully it's going to end very soon in the coming year so let's just do a holiday look because you only live once as we've seen so um yeah, let's just do a holiday look and then we are going to, yeah, do this. So I'm going to start off with my eyebrows and uh, for that I'm just using a brown pencil. There are certain things I always forget to buy, like pencils. And I always feel like it's easier to use a pencil than those wax things. So I'm just going to fill them in. More dense at the end. Even as fully, I literally normally forget how to like buy a spoolie. Anytime I'm buying stuff, I forget to buy a spoolie. I don't know what the issue is, but we're going to sort that soon. You really need a spoolie. It helps like make the, blend out the pencil with the brows. So after the eyebrows, I'm just going to take my trusted foundation, which is the Revlon um, foundation, Photo Candid foundation in the shade 530, which is Pecan. And that's the one I'm going to apply all over my face. Okay. We can definitely define our brows first. Yeah. I don't know what the issue is. Today I'm a bit confused. Maybe because of all the festivities. All the festivities. So we're going to define our brows with this LA Colors Concealer. This is a step that is completely optional. Yeah, of course none of these steps is even compulsory. But it's even become more optional. <laughs> So next I'm just taking this eyeshadow primer and I'm going to apply it like on my eyelids. This is a white eyeshadow primer because I really want the colors to pop. And as I've always said in all my videos, this eyeshadow primer is not the best. It cakes so badly so we have to like apply it hurriedly. that it doesn't like cake. Next, I'm going to do a very, very simple look. I'm just going to take this eyeshadow, this matte one here, and I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelids. So let's do that. It's like a top. Yeah, the color is top, if I'm not wrong. Looks top. I don't know what the name of the color shade is. And the palette is just the Burgundy Bar, the one for Maybelline. So after I've packed all this all over my eyes, I'm going to further define my brows with uh, a highlighter under here, under the brows. So. 
so i'm just going to take this white shade this one the opposite side you know we're using this all over our eyes so i'm going to take this one and i'm just going to use it to highlight my brows because it has a sheen to it this white one has somewhat of a sheen to it so i'm just going to like apply it I'm just going to try and blend it in to the other one. Yeah, there. So that is that. Next, I'm just going to take this reddish shade here. This red one here. And I'm just going to apply it like on the outer corners of my eyes. Just the outer corners strictly. And, uh, And somehow what in the crease of my eye. Jeez. So I'm just going to like spread it out. Yeah, so that it just has like a subtle skin to it. Yeah. So I'm just going to take another shade, this one. And I'm going to apply it like just a bit on top of my eyelid like the center just going to dab in some of those glitters just a bit on the center of my eyelid on the eyelid itself started a pair of lashes and next we're going to do our face which is basically foundation foundation and uh setting powder and all those things that people normally do so let's just use this revlon photo candid foundation that i mentioned earlier and it is anti-pollution and this is the shade pecan or 530 i'm not a fan of um what is it called this lashes like i feel like they're not necessary but you know, sometimes they boost your look. Everything here is not necessary at So I'm just going to pat in the foundation. And this is a medium coverage foundation. It's not a full coverage foundation. So you have the option of layering it or adding a second layer. Because it's a bit sheer or transparent, if you may call it that. So I'm just going to use this NYX Wonder Stick, which is a highlighter. It's like a cream highlighter. It's a contour stick, basically. So I'm just going to highlight and contour using it. So that's the highlight side. And then this is the contour side. The contour side between my under eyes. I think I could use this as a brush.
So I'm going to take this Sasha setting powder or the Sasha buttercup setting powder and I'm going to use it as a brightening powder under my eyes just for brightening. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of my face, I think I'm just going to use the usual, which is the Maybelline um, setting powder, this matte and poreless powder. I'll take some. to apply to the rest of my face. But then once I'm through with that application, I can remove this one. Thoroughly remove it. Okay. And I'm just going to take my mascara and I'm going to apply it on my lower eyelids. And uh, now it's time for the lips. And I think I'm going to line them with this same brown pencil. So these are like multi-use pencils. I really need a good uh, eyebrow something. Now the reason I'm lining my lips, oh sorry, but the reason I'm lining my lips is because the kind of lipstick that I'm going to use is actually not very flattering um, on my lips because my lips are a bit too big, so yeah, but we're going to use it still and it is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Amazonian, like me, I'm an Amazon. So, uh, just going to apply it, uh, yeah. At the center of my lips, I'm not going to apply it on uh, up to where my lips start <laughs> because it wasn't very. Flattering. In short, I, I just want to create like an ombre effect. Mm I think I'm done with that but I feel like I'm too orange so maybe I should add a bit of blush just to add some color to my face let me first put highlighter then I'll put blush done we'll see Yeah, then I'll just start a bit of blush, maybe to add some color to my face. Some color to the face. There. Okay. 
now we can wear our wig and like see how we're gonna look <laughs> i feel like this um lipstick is not my shade it's not my shade but we'll still try so i'm just going to use this um maybelline setting spray and yeah let's just wear the wig